Hey, John, Will here from Forbes. I got your inquiry at uh, about quarter after six this morning on this truck here behind me. Hey, first and foremost, I'm going to answer a couple questions about the heated seats and the heated steering wheel. Oh, uh, Now, due to the lack of supply of semiconductors, as General Motors is trying to get these vehicles out to people with as little delay as possible. Now, that does mean that hey, there's a sacrifice here and there. We live in a world today where, you know, if it's not one thing that you can't get, it's the other, and it's months and months and months of delays. So we're trying to shorten up these delays as much as possible for people. Well, that's why some stuff has shipped without heated seats or heated steering wheel. Oh, well, you'll be pleased to know that this truck behind me here is equipped with the heated steering wheel. However, maybe not so pleased, but it's still going to be able to get them or and will get them is the heated seats so the heated seat aspect of this truck there is buttons in place where you would normally hit to activate the heated seats and those buttons right now are just dummy switches and so they're not operational oh but there is a retrofit that is coming and supposed uh, supposed to be late spring to my understanding and that the vehicle, the truck, will be retrofitted with those heated seats. It's, so you will get your heated seats. It does have a seat, heated steering wheel right now. Oh, and there's a nice little bonus here too. Oh, because of the inconvenience for you, the customer, or what General Motors is doing is giving you a one year subscription and two, Oh, OnStar, that's your connected access portion of OnStar that allows you to remote start the truck from anywhere in the world oh, that right from your smartphone through the My Chevrolet app. Uh, so let's get down to the rest of this truck because there's a lot to show. Oh, and I really want you to uh, have a good look at this thing. There's a lot of great equipment on it. It is loaded up to the nines. And, and the Trail Boss is definitely one of my favorite trims, so let's dive in. <clears throat> and so we'll start things off obviously on the front end, this being a 2LT Trail Boss model. Oh, you get, in addition to your LED daytime running lights, it's, you get LED fog lights as well with those signature red tow hooks. This does have the black emblems package, so you get the black Chevy logo right up front. And I prefer the Trail Bosses on the 18 inch wheels because you get to wrap those wheels those with Goodyear Duratrac rubber. It gives you a ton of meat on that tire. They're quiet on the road in comparison to uh, most mud tires. They do have a snow rating. And so you can um, get that winter tire discount on your insurance as well. Oh, around to the back, we've got dual exhaust. We've got the black bow tie Chevy logo and the black Silverado badging as well as LT here being the trim. Obviously, uh, I said the dual exhaust already. We've got the new Chevy multi-flex tailgate. And so that bottom button there releases the gate the top button releases the top half of the gate and then this guy folds out here into a nice step how cool is that uh, just a ton of awesome little features here and there or another one of uh, my personal faves what's come to be and the reason why the step is my personal fave is because it has a rocker guard lining on it uh, meaning that it's similar to a bed liner. It's actually a little, well, actually, seems like it's the exact same material as the bed liner, so that when you're stepping in and out of the truck, you're not slipping off the running board or anything like that. Uh, now, they are a high clearance step, so they sit up a little higher than a regular side step, so that when you're going down the trail, oh, you don't have the side steps interfering with any rocks along the way or anything of the sort. All right, you've got this little grab bar, flips mm -hmm. up like so, help you get in and out of the bed. And, and then we've also got a 120 volt, 400 amp outlet back here. 
software to run anything that you want. Now, if you are trying to run power tools, the electrical system uh, that powers that outlet and the rest of the truck is not heavy enough to run a skill saw or uh, electric impact or anything like that. Um, but it is good for charging batteries on job sites, maybe running a small generator. Uh, in addition to that, more features in the bed is the cargo lighting. The cargo lighting is all LED, it is super bright, right? and you also have a couple LEDs up in the third brake light there too. Oh, just below the third brake light is the power sliding rear window. Oh, it makes it really nice so that when you're going down the road, you maybe got the front windows open, get a little bit of that buffeting, crack open that power sliding rear window, and that buffeting is gone. In the Trail Boss trucks, uh, equipped with the Z71 package, as they all are, or when you get to Trail Boss trim, um, you get the all-weather floor mats, inclusive of the trim. Uh, we've upgraded this to have the up-level rear seating with the storage pockets in the back. It is a leather seat, front and rear, full buckets. You've got armrest and cup holders. If we throw this seat up, we've got a storage bin down below, your jack, power outlets for whoever's back here, a USB-C, USB, and a 12 volt outlet. We've equipped the truck and ordered it as such with a sunroof as well. Also, there's lots and lots of goodies all around this beast of a truck. Keyless entry, that silver button on the door handles. All the black door handles with the Trail Boss trim. Black color matched mirror caps. Ups to go along with the black front and rear bumpers. And the whole blackout package that we put on the truck. Uh, we'll hop into the driver's seat now. Oh, probably the most important part of any vehicle because that's where you're going to be spending the most amount of your time. And full power windows. The driver's window is express up and down, meaning just one touch to bring it up and one touch to bring it down. We've got power mirrors. There's it with the Trail Boss trim. You get a two-speed transfer case, which gives you a true four low range. There's your fog light controls. We've got some cool, uh, some other stuff in here. Or so we will. Deselect that. We, uh, you got your tow haul mode, and then you've got a few different drive modes that you can toggle through normal and off road. And that's just by going to the uh, the right there with the knob. Um, you uh, um, turn on your bed lights with that switch there. You can see that we've got the heated steering wheel. It is nice and warm, nice and toasty. Gets up to temp pretty quick. I love it in the truck that I drive. I drive just a standard LT. With, uh, but it does have the heated steering wheel and whatnot, uh, and that just uh, heats right up real quick. That's super nice in the winter time. And um, you've got your integrated trailer brake controller. You've got another 120 volt, 400 watt outlet up front here. A couple USBs and 12 volt, just like in the back. Dual zone climate control. Full on bucket seating. Fully powered driver's seat. Hey, the center bin has a ton, a ton of space. This is with uh, another USB, USB-C, SD card reader, and an auxiliary port there. Uh, this truck is not short on options. Not short on options whatsoever. Uh, an absolutely beautiful rig, finished in satin steel metallic, probably the most popular GM paint color nowadays. I just wanted to get that quick video off to you uh, and hopefully that is a great help up to you and gives you an in-depth explanation of the truck and its equipment and there's a few other things here and there er, but I would love to show you those on a test drive so if you're local to KW area 
give me a ring or even if you're not local to the KW area uh, give me a ring let me know what time works best and we'll get this but this uh, baby all set up and ready to go on a test drive I've got a plate ready in my office just got to meet you there thanks John bye for now